Hello there gorgeous gamers and welcome back to Pure Play TV and we've got a little video to help you get into the right gear when you boot up your copy of Taxi Chaos, a new Crazy Taxi inspired game that is out now for the PS4, Xbox One and Nintendo Switch. So here are 5 tips and tricks for Taxi Chaos. Unlock the best cars quickly. If you want to be posting some sick high scores on the online leaderboards, you're going to need some better wheels. The game has a selection of cars that you can unlock, and most of them are fairly straightforward to get just by playing the game. You'll need to drop off 100 passengers, drive 25 miles, and earn some stars to unlock some of the better cars. The good news is, it doesn't take too long. It's around half an hour of playtime and that's all that's needed to get the easily unlocked best cars. The hardest unlocks, however, are another story and you'll need to have the city map dedicated to memory as you will have to score high on the pro mode, which removes the guiding arrow. Boost! 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 Every second counts when you're delivering a paying customer to their destination and the best way to ensure a speedy journey is to start off on the right foot. And by that, I mean you need to boost. Once you've stopped to pick up a passenger, hold the left and right triggers down while the passenger hops into your cab, and then release once they're settled. You'll get a nice little boost that will shave off a couple of seconds from your journey time. For extra savings, make sure you're facing in the right direction before letting go of the triggers. You can adjust your car's direction while the passenger is getting in. Avoid the cops! The cops in Taxi Chaos don't care if you're black or white. Hit them and they'll hit you back with a $50 ticket. Hit them again and you'll get another $50 ticket. Thankfully, the amount does not increase with each new ramming, but those $50 tickets do add up over the course of a playthrough, and they could seriously damage your bottom line and ability to place high on the leaderboards. So, avoid the cops! Jump, but don't overdo it. Taxi Chaos sets itself apart from Crazy Taxi by adding a jumping mechanic, and while that's really cool, it's not always the ideal option. In fact, it can be downright detrimental to your earnings, at least until there's been an update that stops the taxi from slowing down after a jump. My advice is to only jump when you must, so if you're heading into traffic, which is fitting of the New York City setting, then jump over the cars to save yourself from piling into the back of them. Or if you spot a rooftop shortcut, it might be worth jumping up to it to save yourself a few precious seconds, but be warned, the jumping is a little sketchy and not totally reliable, so only use it if you're desperate. Combo, combo, combo! The best way to rack up a high score is to line up those combos. You gain combos by driving fast for a sustained amount of time, as well as taking shortcuts, having near misses with other vehicles, and generally driving like a pro. Rack up your combos and you'll be making the fattest of stacks in your Taxi Chaos playthrough. And there you have it, 5 quick tips to get you started in Taxi Chaos. If you enjoyed this video, share the love by hitting the like and subscribe buttons below, as well as the bell icon so that you're notified whenever we have new stuff for you to watch. Head on down below to the description for our social media and our supporters page, where you can support our team if you can. I've been Chris, this has been Cray uh, uh, mm, Taxi Chaos, and I'll see you on the next one. Until then, bye bye.